Previously on Solar Balls. The planets have had enough of their distant, boring orbits and have decided to rebel during the next planetary alignment. <laughs> this is... this is so great! Everyone's just following the laws of physics, staying in their orbits. Um, I can finally just relax. Mercury? Hey, Mercury! You wanna hear a joke? It's a good one, I promise! Why is he ignoring me? Okay, everyone. It's almost time for the planetary alignment. Hope none of you have forgotten the plan. Wait, so... How many planets do I need to discard to summon the sun and win the game? Three planets. You can read it on the lower part of the card. Okay, I see. Well, cool. Uh, who made this game? No clue. Luna thinks it came from the Big Bang itself. Uh, right, Luna? I I'm sorry, what? I was asking about... Uh, forget it. Hey, wait. I isn't the whole planetary alignment, like, very soon? Oh, shoot, you're right. I wonder if everyone else is in position. Well, there's no real way of knowing. <laughs> uh, why? You know, the speed of light and stuff. The speed of light? Yeah, dude. Light takes time to travel through space. When it leaves the sun, it takes like 3 minutes, 20 seconds to reach Mercury. In your case, it takes about 8 minutes, and in the case of Neptune... Uh, t 20 minutes? More like 4 hours. 4 hours?! How are we going to rebel against the sun if it'll take Neptune four hours to notice the sign? Oh, everyone's going to be off sync! Yeah, kind of a little issue. So in the game, dwarf planets are a shortcut to summoning planets, right? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I already did tons of back and forths around the entire solar system. But we need you! Dude, I'm going crazy over here! What exactly are you asking me to do? To tell everyone, there's been a little... Adjustment! For the plan to work, the sun must see every single one of us getting out of our orbit at the exact same time from his point of view. Which doesn't make sense because of how light travels. Yeah, not really. If light from the sun takes four hours to reach Neptune, that also means the light reflecting from Neptune will take four hours to return to the sun. So you want every planet to calculate the intervals of time it will take to- Okay, relax, Mr. Genius. There's a simpler way to do this. When Neptune sees that all planets have aligned, he will get off his orbit. As the light of this travels, it will reach Uranus after... One hour, 20 minutes. Exactly! And that will be Uranus assigned to do the same. And Saturn will see Uranus get off his orbit after... Uh, another hour and 20 minutes, and... Wait, so the signal will be when every planet sees their furthest neighbor get off their orbit? Yup! If you take into account the speed of light, this would mean the sun will see everyone leave their orbit at the exact same time. Kinda like a relay race. But instead of a baton, we're using the speed of light. So, will you tell the others? I'm gonna need a vacation after this. I think I have a few places. Pilot. Well, yes, but not towards Neptune. Then what have I been following? Is this the ship Cosmo stole? Seems like it. What are you going to do? Time's running out. 
it all starts with Neptune, so I can skip telling him the change of plans. This could be a trap, you know, Cosmo. Only one way to find out. Hey guys, Alvaro here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so next week we're gonna be doing a compilation of these past few episodes. But uh, I want to let you know that we're gonna be revealing doing that compilation the next two plushes that we're gonna be selling. Now, uh, which characters are these? Um, I will not say, but I think you can guess based on this. Oh, okay, maybe we shouldn't do that with these two plushes. Anyways, uh, I hope you're looking forward to the reveal and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye. it again get off your orbit what the plan is for you to get off your orbit no but, but the sun well let go go on i have a plan what are you doing no, all right all right and <laughs> come on mate come on <laughs> Showtime! My turn! It's working! Listen, Mercury, I... I know the things I do seem unfair. Even I feel like I'm losing control of you, of the others of myself, but you've always been honest, and you understand me better than most. I want, I need us to be on speaking terms. Please, if there's something I can do better, I... Always, since when... You, you need to get back to your... of his realistic solar system. Who knows what he has on his mind now? Anyways, as I was saying... Hey, uh, other dwarf planets. Uh, what do you want? Uh, who said that? My name is Sedna, and these are my colleagues, Warwar, Orcus, and Gonga. No way! More dwarf planets? I've heard legends of others like us somewhere in the Kuiper Belt, but I never... We don't have time! They're coming! They? Who's they? The Rogue Planets. Thanks for watching! Oh, and the next episode is already on Patreon, so watch it a week early by joining. Also, consider checking out our Solar Ball store to get exclusive plushies and solar cards. Bye!